The ethnic conflict between Kusasis and Mampusis in Boku caused government to deploy the Ghana Armed Forces 11th Mechanized Infantry Battalion to the Upper East Region to keep peace in Boku and protect the borders against violent extremists. But in recent times, residents of Boku have accused the military of brutality and alleged killings of civilians. In December 2022, the military was accused by residents of allegedly killing a woman at Sabungari. On January 26, 2023, residents of Boku accused the military of allegedly killing two persons, namely Siedu Dauda, aged 60, and Salifu Imoro, 59, at Patelemi for breaking the curfew. On Wednesday, February 1, 2023, the military were again accused of allegedly killing seven persons in line of duty. The situation has exacerbated tension in Boku as residents demand justice for the deceased. Member of Parliament for Boku Central, Mahama Yariga, in a statement, described the actions of the military as unprofessional and vowed to seek justice for the deceased. In a crunch meeting on Thursday held by the Upper East Regional Security Council, RECSEC, to assess the situation in Boku, Chairman of RECSEC, who doubles as Regional Minister Stephen Yakubu, said RECSEC will commission investigations into all alleged killings by the military. RECSEC, we are also going to do our own investigation to find out exactly what, what happened. I think that for, for us here, we've been working with the military for a very long time. In fact, this incident uh, just happened. But we've been working with the military, and the military uh, working in Boko, even within my time here, is almost about uh, maybe about 18 months or something like that. And it's very unfortunate that this, this has happened. Uh, what I can see now is that we are looking into it. Rexek also mourned with relatives of the deceased and called on all stakeholders to work at bringing lasting peace to Boko. As a regional minister, I am in mourning with them, I sympathize with them, big condolences. Uh, but the end matter is that we need peace. And uh, if uh, we, we have peace, then we will not have all this. So whilst we mourn, whilst we try to find out what is going on, what went wrong, and all that. We should also be thinking of how do we make the peace so that we don't have more people going through this. For certain news, Frederick Awuni.